So about one year and a half after the release of Spider-Man No Way Home, we finally have our dedicated Marvel Legend figures of the three Spider-Men. Of course, they were kept secret, top secret by uh, Marvel Studios, and we all found out they were in the movie alongside with, you know, Hasbro. So these took quite a long time to, to, to get released, and they're finally here. There's been a lot of controversy behind this three-pack. There's been a lot of talk ever since it got revealed and shown. So finally, I have it in hand, and I can really speak and judge for myself regarding these figures here. So uh, as I say, it's a three-pack of each Spider-Man. We have the Tom Holland Spidey. We have the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. We have the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. This is the front box. Here's the back of the box here showing the three figures or digital renders of them. Them. and then we have the accessories kind of shown there on the side as well so let's go ahead and crack it open and see what these are all about so if you're like me you probably got this three pack solely because you wanted to get your hands on the new marvel legends toby Maguire spider-man and andrew carfield spider-man let's be honest here and nah, i don't think anybody really got this three pack for the tom holland in the middle there we've already gotten tom holland in this suit before i want to say at least a variation of this suit good enough to not really want it again so of course we have to buy another one because it's in this three pack with these two other spideys it is what it is it makes sense a three pack of all three spideys of course now if you never got any of the other previous marvel legends tom holland from no way home then you're great you're, you're good here this is this is good so i actually had it before and i, I got rid of it because i knew i was going to get this three pack and I'm, i didn't need another version of the tom holland one so here they are out of the box. First impressions easily say that my favorite one is the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. This figure is the best one of the three, followed by Tobey Maguire and then Tom Holland there. Uh, something about this one, I think the color and the sculpt and the paint apps on this figure is fantastic. It looks so good. The texturing, they all got good texture on them too. And, and decent paint apps too. The, the paint decals are definitely a little bit more enhanced than usual so that's good to see considering that this three pack is also uh, labeled as the overpriced three pack this is definitely an overpriced pack uh, my total after tax and i did get the free shipping because i do have the hasbro pulse premium membership now if i didn't have that i, I can only imagine i would have spent obviously more but my total with free shipping was 96 dollars and, and some change so that comes down to 32 dollars per figure so it's already an upcharge on top of uh, a regular Marvel Legend being at 25 bucks, so $32 each on these figures. Now, if you had to pay for shipping, I'm sure that that math would increase, of course, to 35 or even closer to 40 per figure. Now, if, if you're like me and you really only care about these two, could care less about this one here, then you're looking at like $48 per figure here, you know, which is a little crazy to think about but of course let's be fair here you do get another figure so it's about 32 bucks each and it, it is pretty steep now what do we get here for that price we get three brand new body molds from what i'm aware of this is a new body for tom holland but i could be wrong i'm not sure somebody let me know it's, it it might be a reuse uh, but for sure 100 percent uh, our Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfields are brand new from the ground up. Everything never been used before. We also do get some raised webbing. I know they promoted that quite a bit, so it's sculpted very nice and painted very cleanly, as I as I can see at least on the torso. You can see how clean the spider came out and all the webbings. Um, as for the eyes, I've seen the images out there of people receiving their Spider Mans, uh, specifically on Tobey, with a missing eye completely just unpainted so that was definitely a fear of mine and luckily I don't have any missing eyes at all and the only thing I can really nitpick on here is that my left eye uh, it's going to be our right side but his left eye is slightly off it's not centered on the scope of the eye so if, if you can see that a little unpainted area there so that is definitely a bummer I you know it now that I noticed it, it kind of sticks out for me, but from afar, it's not too bad. But I wish it wasn't there. You know, obviously, that's that's a bummer. So, uh, other than that, the Andrew Garfield Spidey is definitely the best one. Look at the paint apps all over. Some of the best I've seen, especially on Spider-Man. Uh, they definitely went all out on these guys in terms of the paint apps on the suits. You can see the texture on the actual blue on the thighs there. Pretty 
pretty nice. Of course, these are all pinless. That was to be expected, especially for the price tag. There's the back spider. Pretty clean. Very cool. And you can already see how much articulation these figures have with the dual torso articulation with the ab crunch on the lower end and then the diaphragm joint on the higher end right there. In regards to Toby, he's got the raised webbings, but you can see it's not as nice looking as it is on the Amazing Spider-Man here with, with Andrew. You see the difference there? I don't know what it is. I feel like this could have been a little bit cleaner. It's a little spotty in some areas. So it's silver paint and the red is definitely a brighter red. Um, and then going to the face, I do got my eyes there. But I feel like the silver paint could have been done a little bit better. Definitely. It's just, I think depending on where the lighting hits it, it seems off some you know at some angles the back spider is very clean and you can see all the texture work there going down to the feet uh, and the torso but uh, these are up close looks from afar they do look pretty good uh, but I do wish this guy was as clean as this one. I mean there's just a huge difference between between these you know the lines on these guys like look how nice this looks and it's very thick black paint and then here it's just a very light coating of that silver paint. I don't know how I feel about it, but it definitely doesn't make me feel as good as this one right here. Uh, and then if you want to take a closer look at Tom, I know he's not uh, getting as much love, but he does have some nice paint apps too. That that gold is actually, you know, gold paint that's actually super clean. They did the line work on all of the lines of the webbings uh, on the arm. You can see all the paint apps there. Not too bad. Definitely probably the best version of this Tom Holland Spidey from No Way Home to get. So if you if you held out on the other ones, then this is the one to get here for sure. Because the paint apps alone make it look a lot nicer than what I've seen before. And there is the face. And of course the um the big thing here with these figures is no unmasked heads. And I, I did make a big stink about it too. I made a whole video dedicated to talking about these figures when they first announced it. And I mentioned in that video that I have a theory. I have, um, you know, at, at this point, it's inevitable. But we will get those unmasked heads, but in a separate release. And it's unfortunate. It would have been nice to get them all in this three-pack. I think that would have justified the $32 per piece count uh, price tag on these guys. A little bit more if we had some brand new head sculpts. Swappable head sculpts. But what really is the final nail and that theory for me is the fact that each of these figures, if you look closely, you'll notice that they have a breakage right here, a seam line, as you can see, hopefully you can see that, at the neck area. And it's not like it's you can remove it, but if you use enough force, you can separate it. You can see there that obviously the neck is almost like a separate piece that is attached there. You can see there on Andrew, when we look at Toby, the same thing right there. You see that line? That's Never a thing with Marvel Legends, and the fact that even Tom Holland has it too, right there, you see that? It leads me to believe that, obviously, they are going to release these again with the same bodies, but this retooling right here that's already there, you could already see it on these figures, it's going to be changed to a neck with a half skin, half... Uh, you know suit of course because if you were to put the unmasked heads on these figures alone it would look very weird with a, a neck fully suited right so you would need to have a separate neck uh, and that's definitely not something they wanted to do here because they would have done it and i uh, you know it would have been cool but i see there that they already implanted that feature in these figures meaning that when they release the next wave of no way home figures uh they will have all three of these these boys right here completely unmasked with the with the alternate neck piece there with the same body so that leads me to also believe i'm here like i sound like a conspiracy theorist here now it leads me to believe that those releases will exclusively only have the unmasked heads meaning that this three pack will only exclusively have the masked heads so it kind of forces you to double dip and buy both but it's probably something you would have done anyways. I don't know. Some people would not. Some people do buy two of each figures to display one with an unmasked head and one with a masked head. But still, of course, it leaves a sour taste in, in most collectors' mouths that this three-pack did not come with the unmasked 
head sculpts. How does that make you feel that maybe the second release of these figures, when they come out in the second or the next wave of the No Way Home uh, Marvel Legends, that these will only have unmasked heads, and then this three pack will only have masked heads? I think some collectors will be fine with it because they're gonna feel like, hey, they went out and bought this and they don't feel like they got gypped into buying this three pack only for them to release it again as a regular release. And then they're like, why the heck did I buy this three pack for? So uh, this three pack is for the masks, basically. Do you want the masks? Okay, so you get this three pack. Do you want the unmasked heads? You'll get the single releases in a future way, which I still think will be a thing. I think that's even a rumor that has been leaked out or whatever. So we know they're coming. Uh, I just know for a fact those will only be unmasked. I mean, I don't know for a fact. I don't have any intel or anything like that, but it's just an educated guess, of course, based off of what I'm seeing with that little, that removable neck. It's basically removable, but these are pretty much glued in there somehow. It's If you try to force it out, I'm sure it comes off, but I'm curious to know if they're going to make uh, the suits any, uh, maybe change the color on them a little bit. Maybe Toby will be a darker red or something. Will they be exactly like these? I don't think they will be. I think they might be a different tone of red or, or something like that on top of the unmasked heads. All right, so let the controversy continue um, with the hands that they come with. So packed in, Tom Holland, Peter Parker comes with the wall crawling hands. He has both, so one on each side. Then he gets both web slinging hands or thwipping hands as some may like to call it. So he gets dual of those and then he gets both fists. So he's the one that he's the only one here that gets both of almost each version. And then when we get to Toby, he's got the, the double fist there. So that's cool. Uh, but then he does also come with the double uh, thwipping hands. And these are all painted with the rays, the webbing and everything. Uh, and then lastly, he comes with the double open hands, but these are slightly different. So these aren't exactly wall crawling. This is a wall crawling hand, but then this is just a regular open hand. So I kind of get what they were going for here. This could serve as the hand that is on the wall while this is the one that's reaching for the next piece of the wall. That makes kind of sense. So you won't be able to kind of have them both look the same, but this could be reaching. This could be on the wall, if that makes sense. Uh, now, moving on to Andrew Garfield. He comes packed in like this for some reason. He's got one right fist and then one open hand that is posed like that. A little bit of a weird pose. Only his left hand comes like that. He doesn't have a right hand that matches that. Uh, he does have a left hand that matches the fist, so that's good to see. Uh, so he's got the double fist. But he does only come with one wall crawling hand, which is very odd. So only a right hand wall crawling and no left hand wall crawling. He does come with the dual flipping hands though so that's that's good they all come with the dual flipping hands and fists now last but not least for their accessories uh we get a web per spidey so it's a translucent web we've seen this before and i must confirm that this is definitely the most useless accessory in this pack because as you just seen i went through the hands and there is no grabby hand to uh to pose the webbings with so it, it makes these pointless i don't know why they were included um very curious on why they were included because like i said they cannot grab them so even if you wanted to display them uh grabbing these in any type of way they can because the hands they come with not a single one is even close to gra like a grabby hand like this is the closest you get and it's just wide open this doesn't really make sense so uh these are are definitely pointless and maybe you want to use them with other spidey figures in your marvel legends collection but definitely not with these so let's go ahead and move on to the articulation of these figures so as far as i can see they all pretty much come with the same points except for tom here he only has an ab crunch no diaphragm joint uh, he does have butterfly joints. They all have butterfly joints. So that is good to see. Uh, but Toby and Andrew have the diaphragm and ab crunch combo, which is also nice to see. But no waist swivel, of course, because when you do that combo, you're not going to have a waist swivel. And then when you don't do that combo, you will have a waist swivel like Tom over here has. So let's go ahead and move each of these real quick just to see their ranges. The head on tom is on a barbell peg i believe they're all on a barbell peg it looks up about that high and low this much arms will go all the way around they go in and out they do have the butterfly joints there that expand and go in bicep swivels double jointed pinless elbows pinless for all three of these figures uh, wrist swivel and a hinge we have an ab crunch at the torso 
or a swivel, the two joint legs will kick forward, they go back down, they go in and out about this far, which is pretty decent. There is a thigh swivel, double jointed knees right there. Uh, and then as for the ankles, they go forward and back and then they rock left to right. As for Toby, let's see the range of the head there. He looks up about that far, down that far, which is not a lot, left and right, and then head tilting. Arms will go all the way around. They go in and out. This one spreads up a little higher. You can see here that the cut on the shoulder is a, a lot deeper than what you see here. Well, you don't even see it on Tom. So his arms are you know, able to go up a lot higher than, than most figures that don't have that cut there. Goes down. You've got the butterfly joint here. You can see this, it's a lot more smoother to articulate this one compared to Tom. There is a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, swivel at the wrist with a hinge. There's a diaphragm joint that goes all the way around. You can see how far back you can you can crack his back and how far forward you can you can crunch him. So pretty good range there with a the double torso articulation. And then no way swivel, so you can swivel him at the upper torso. Legs will kick forward, they go down, in and out, not as far as Tom, but Hey, Toby is a little older, right? There is a drop down feature on these legs, so that's kind of cool. See, you can kind of kick it a little bit further higher. Uh, there's a thigh swivel, double jointed knees. Uh, there is an ankle hinge and an ankle rocker at the foot. Going on to Andrew, we have the head looks up, probably the highest of the three. He looks down, he goes left and right, head tilting, very nice. Arms will go all the way around. They go up. He also has a cut there, so his extension is a little bit more than Tom Holland's. There is a butterfly joint. There is a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, swivel at the wrist with a hinge. Here is the diaphragm joint on this one and the crunch back. Here's the crunch forward. There's the tilt and the swivel. Then we get the kick of the legs going forward. This one definitely goes further up than Toby. Uh, they, they do drop down a little bit. Then there's a thigh swivel. Double jointed knees. Uh, there is no boot cut, but there's an ankle hinge and an ankle rocker at the foot. Also, those curious on the heights of these figures, Andrew on the left stands just under six and a half inches tall, while Tom in the middle is about five and three quarters inches tall, right under six, and then Toby is right at six inches tall. Overall, like I mentioned before, Andrew Garfield, Spider-Man, is definitely the highlight of this pack. I feel like he has potential to be a future grail, while Toby could use some work and Tom Holland is Tom Holland. I mean, it's it's good, but we've gotten him before. So now let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Did you pick up this three pack or are you going to hold out for the inevitable unmasked releases of these three figures? Also, while you're down there, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Take care, take it easy, and I will catch you on the next one.